Good morning and welcome to week one, Wednesday day three of distance learning and we're getting through this work really well. I hope the videos are helping and if there's any suggestions or anything else I can do please let me know. Let's have a quick look at our timetable, our first lesson spelling and writing this morning. We'll get through that really quickly, we've just about finished that. Our reading activity on the Sydney Harbour Bridge and our focus writing on newspaper reports, that will take a little bit longer. Our maths, bod maths with our maths mentors will get through really quickly as well. Thank you for returning all that work, it's excellent on getting through marking it and giving you feedback and star points and putting it in a folder. <clears throat> as samples of your work so you're doing an excellent job so keep that up all right let's jump into our spelling lesson and before we do as we always do um, let's just have a really quick look at our phonemes for the day to get ourselves ready get our minds ready for spelling okay let's go b k ch f g j don't forget 24 consonants um, and many different ways to spell each phoneme they're just our key graphemes the key ways that we can spell it 20 vowels ah a, e, a, e, 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 e. There's our schwa box, our focus for our spelling. E, e, i, a, o, oi, u, 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 a, o, a, a. Okay. In Twitch Studio. And if you want to find it, the spelling focus we did on Monday, which was the PowerPoint, we'll do another one next Monday. And then the actual uh, sheet, which is in week one, which is here. So you can download that or just open it up for the lesson and work from that sheet. Okay, so as I said, we're really getting through this. This won't take us long at all. So all we've got to do is we have some sentences here and they've given us the root word from our spelling and we need to go through and find the word with the correct suffix. Hang on, I have forgotten one thing though. Sorry. These are our spelling words here. We're going to go through and have a look at those and sound out their phonemes. Now yesterday when I clapped out the um, syllables and if we had an in class someone would have picked me up on this, I made a mistake with clapping out general. I was calling it general as in general store. It's actually general. Okay, um, so I didn't pronounce this second vowel group here. So for the syllables, it should be general. So three syllables. Sorry, it was a bit early. I didn't have my coffee. But today, I'm on the ball. Okay, so um, let's go through these. And what I would like you to do is take a minute now and write them down again for Wednesday. Because don't forget we're doing a dictation on Friday. And head it up. Week one, Wednesday. And don't forget the tricky spelling word of Wednesday that a lot of people get wrong. Even though it's pronounced Wednesday, there's a D in there. W E D N E S D A Y. So week one, Wednesday, and it's the 22nd today of April, comma. 2020 and I just want you to go down and write your words J -e -n -e -r -a -l, nice and clearly and leave gaps so if you could pause and do that now for me all right for everybody else now you should have restarted and you should have gone through one general two emphasis three normal four emphatic and written all your words so we're going to go through and sound them out and what I'm going to do is give you extra stars, as I did with one of the students yesterday who did a great job. And I want you to box it as a graph, diagraph, trigraph if necessary. That's going to help you remember it. General. Ja, e, n, e, a, o. So six phonemes. Emphasis. 
you know what, I'm going to make this box bigger. There we go. <coughs> Emphasis. E, M, F, A, S, E, S. Seven phonemes. Normal. Normal. N, O, M, A, O. Five. Emphatic. E, M, F, A, T. No, do it again. Emphatic. E, M, F, A, T, E, K. Seven. Metal. M, M, E, T, A, O. Five. Criticize. K, E, T, E, S, E, S. Criticize. That should be in an I, shouldn't it? Let's do it again. Criticize. K, R, E, T, E, S, I, S. Criticize. That's better. See, it's tricky. This is why we have to do it each day. Loyalty. Lul, oil. Loyalty. Lul, oil. Loyal. How are we going to do that? Loyalty. Lul, oil, lul, t, e. That's five. Academy. E, k, a, d, e, m, e. Seven. Celebrates. E, l, e, b, r, a, t. Local. Lul, o, k, a, l. Five. Vitality. V, i, t, a, l, e, t. E eight periodic P E R E O D E K eight generality J E N E R A L E T nine normality N O M A L E T E metallic M E T A L E Critic, k r i t i k five. Celebrity, s e l e b r i t i. Academic, a k a d e m i k. Vital, v i t a u. Period, p i r i o d. Restaurant, r e s t o r a n t. Campaign, k a m p a a n. I'll do that again. Campaign, k a m p a n. Bureaucracy, b bureaucracy, b u r u k. R A S E nine phenomenal F E N O M E N A O. Okay, thank you for that. If you can do that yourself and box those words yourself, just fast forward from me. I completely understand. I'm a bit rough at five fifty four in the morning, but we got there, and that's a really good way to warm up and think about your spelling too. So let's do our last sheet, which we've headed up. With the date, don't forget to put your name at the top. Please put your name, you've been really good with that. And for this activity, we're going to write the sentence and put the correct word in the sentence. Okay, I might put you over this side so I can keep the screen bigger. Okay, A. A sense of root words normal, soon return to the house. So, what suffix are we going to add, add on to normal to make that work? A sense of write that down and pause it and write it down and then come back and check and it is a sense of normality soon return to the house so I want you to write the full sentence like that in your book if you're using your book and just underline the word that you chose normality and the root word is normal and I just want you to put brackets around normal if you've already done this please don't worry about doing it like this I'm happy that you've done it and sent it in I know a lot of you have okay number two will be the celebrate there's our root word walked along the red carpet for the waiting media 
So you can pause me and write in what you think the answer is. The celebrate. So it has to be a noun, has to be a person because it's a thing doing it. Walked along the red carpet for the waiting media. And the answer is the celebrity. Okay, and we're going to put brackets around. We've changed the E on after the T into a Y, celebrity. Okay, next one. An art criticise, there's our root word, wrote a positive review of the new artist expo expo ex exhibition. Sorry, it's too early. The art criticise wrote a positive review of the new artist's exhibition. So what root word can we get from that? An art, and it's going to be a noun, because it's the person who's doing it, an art critic. And the root word criticise, well, there's the whole word. That word sits within the root word. The next one, the sports academic attracted many first-class athletes. And I'll put the right letter this time. The sports academy. Underline that. And our root word is, here we'll just go to the M. But it's the academy. Next one, banging on the drum produced a metal sound. Well, we have to add something to the end of metal, and that word becomes metallic. So you just go through, keep writing your sentences and doing all that, and putting a bracket around the word that you put in, around the root word that you put in. So there's metal and underlining it. Um, the next one is he was emphasis that all of the books needed to be returned. So that's number F, so go through, fix that, that up. But the word that we're looking for, and this was one that I gave you a couple of sentences for the other day, he was emphatic. So we're underlining that and putting brackets around that root word. And I'm sure you can do that a lot neater than me. And the last one, G, the actual local of the ancient ruins was unknown. And, of course, that word is locality. And local is hiding in that word. And that's it. We're done for our spelling. So tomorrow we'll just probably go through and have a look at our words one more time in preparation for Friday. Okay, and here they are here, and our four extension words on the end. Let's just cover those because they're the hardest ones out of the lot. Restaurant, campaign, bureaucracy, phenomenal. But really, when you're sounding them out and you get used to sounding them out, and as you say it, you can see the uh, phonemes in your mind. They're not that hard. Rest or rond, that's pretty easy. Campaign, you just have to remember that that per cam per a. So the A is actually the AIG, that's a trigraph. Bureaucracy and phenomenal, that one's phonetic. So that, that's pretty easy to remember. Okay, so we're done there. Let's move on to our writing task. So we'll just go through the spelling tomorrow. We won't need to do uh, too much else. Okay, so just checking Wednesday writing activity. We go up to our writing. And it's on a watery world. And we've downloaded the um, activity sheet that was with it. And today, that's really easy as well because all you need to do is just write me a little um uh, short story. I've had some people send in a page of really great in-depth story. They've checked all their sentences so well done. But if you can just write me half a page at least, Sean was the only person who had taken notice of the warning. A great flood had swept over the planet and now life was very different. 
So if you're using this um, and you send it to me, just pop your name at the top. Um, if you're writing it in your book, um, you can continue on from what we've done and write that sentence starter again and then continue on. Um, I might just pause for a second.